Hello, this is Craig and welcome back to Cruising Off Duty. If you've been watching the channel, you know we're right in the middle of a catamaran review series that we took at this year's Annapolis Sailboat Show. On the screen, I'm gonna throw up some images of the previous catamarans we've covered in previous episodes. If you haven't seen those episodes, definitely go back and check them out. We'll also make a playlist called Comparing Catamarans. You can check that playlist and watch us right from the beginning through the whole series. But I wanted to talk about the criteria that Janice and I are looking at because it might be different than what you're looking at. If you're planning to live in a house and just have a catamaran as your winter getaway floating cottage, so to speak, you probably can handle a much smaller catamaran than the one we're probably looking at. Mostly because we have to factor in that everything we own in life is gonna be on this one boat. So we need probably more storage. Definitely we're gonna have every toy like stand up paddle boards and maybe scuba equipment, scuba compressor, all that has to fit on this catamaran. So we're looking into factors like how much storage capacity does this boat have? We're not so impressed by catamaran speed. You know, some of the fast cats are great. If you have that as your winter getaway, you don't need a lot of storage capacity, but you wanna get from A to B quick because you have a limited vacation time. We're on a kind of more slow pace uh, plan where when we're retired, we're gonna move slowly from island to island and about 90% of our time will be at anchor. So it's more important that we have the space and the comfort than we have that cat that can really fly. So keep that in mind. It might be different for you. As you can see in this episode, we're gonna be talking about the Fontan Peugeot Astrea 42 foot. And it's uh, maybe the right size for us. But before I talk about that boat, we wanna talk about price because if I don't mention price at some point in every episode, people send me multiple comments asking why I didn't talk about price. I've always been reluctant because these production boats come pretty much with nothing from the factory. Everything you have to add on to make it a live aboard will add up to a lot of money. You're gonna need generators, you're gonna need water makers, you're gonna need a lot of solar power, you're gonna need probably a wind generator, and you're probably gonna to wanna to upgrade the batteries to something better than the standard lead acid batteries that it comes with. So I have no idea how much money you're gonna spend after the cost of the boat from the factory to get it to be a full live aboard, so I've been reluctant. But I will do the legwork and I will go on Yacht World and show you what some of these boats are selling for now. And here is a prime example of why I'm afraid to talk about price, because the first few listings show the boat sells for around $650,000, give or take, and then you get further down and all of a sudden they're charging $391,000. So obviously a lot more research would have to go into each boat. Chances are the one that's 391 is completely stripped with like no extra features at all and the more expensive ones come with some features added. Then again, who knows? So buyer beware, get in there and look for yourself, but there's a pretty big range of prices for this boat. Let's get on to the walkthrough of the Astrea 42. We're about to go on the Astrea 42. Been waiting in line, but in we're line. next. Finally on the Astrea. It's very nice back here. Not too shabby. No. Not too shabby. Beautiful sitting area. It's got some extra bench seating with an extra lazarette over on the side. And then also a chaise over here. sinks and the u-shaped galley that i like and the little garbage hole that i like and the stove top is kind of small again free burner but it's got quite a large oven i assume the microwave can go on top fridge here okay Some cabinets One sink is pretty small, but at least there's two. Fridges and freezers over here. The TV hole over there. Janice will go down the owner's side. Janice and I walk around with separate cameras. I'll often give my opinion, and then you'll see the same footage again with Janice's camera with her opinion. This is the owner's side on the 42. Looks really nice. A big, wide area. We've got a little desk here. Some closet space here, some more storage here, and then the ga the head, ooh, just a toilet. So it's one of those water closet by itself ones. This is interesting. Let's kind of walk around here to get into the, into the shower. 
Beautiful aft cabin, lots of windows. Good access by storage underneath. Some good shelving here. Jesse Taylor. Closet. The water closet with the head. Lots of cabinetry and storage. This is an interesting layout for a head. This is new. Yeah, this is lovely actually. All the storage is in the forward instead of the shower. And the shower is kind of the shower is kind of an open concept, no door, but you just walk around the glass partition and uh, the shower is here. It's kind of narrow. Definitely be bumping my elbows. There's tons of counter space and cabinetry and a very large sink. It's a beautiful sitting area. Street. Big windows, nav station, semi facing forward, a lot of surface here. Oh, it's a little narrow down here. A little narrow. Shower. Well, let you come in here if you want and film. Yeah. Forward berth. It's a good size mattress. Pretty accessible. Here is uh, the head for this berth. And uh, it's a faucet slash shower head. Here is the head for the larger aft cabin. It's pretty nice. It has a separate shower. Really functional. Very small counter. Sports seat, but with a soft bimini. We have some seating up here. It'd be nice to have better hands. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stay on the side. <laughs> <laughs> I could gamble, man. <laughs> Thanks. It's expensive. It's heavy duty. <laughs> Get a workout. <laughs> Going up on the deck now. So this has the flush. Patches. Very wide, no need to duck. There's a princess seat, though there's no forward railing. Like no protection on the Yeah, there's no forward railing on this one or the other one. Yeah. Alright. Trampoline is the rope. There's a good recessed seating area with a footwell, and it even has room to pass behind. 
and underneath these are huge lazarets. Lots of window. There's a couple of lounge cushions up on the top deck. It's a sport cockpit, so very nice layout of it. You can walk right through it and the seating is behind. And it has a little staircase access. The top deck in the room. Yeah. All right, we just got off the Astria 42. I thought it was pretty good. What did yeah, you think? Yeah, I liked it too. Yeah. I could work with that. Yeah, for sure. I had a good sport seat, uh, sport cockpit. Uh, the layout was awesome. Yeah. Short corners and et cetera. That seems like every modern boat has that, but uh, yeah, overall very good. Has double yeah. sinks like you always like. I know. For the kitchen, for the galley. Um, yeah, it has lots of outdoor seating. It's, it's just overall a really good boat, especially for 42 feet. It, it uses its space really, really well. Definitely something we could consider. It doesn't seem to check all the boxes. Only thing is it, it does have a soft bimini above the helm, uh, which is kind of, eh, you know, we'd like to have more. Like the next boat we're going to show in the next episode is a 47. It has a hard bimini, but of course, big difference between 42 and 47 in price probably. So you get you get what you pay for. Mm -hmm. So overall, the Astra 42, good boat. Yeah. All right, Very nice. so the next episode, we're gonna talk about the Sayona 47. So stay tuned, bye. We really did like this Fontan Peugeot 42 foot. It ticks a lot of the boxes, especially like the outdoor seating area, which was awesome for a 42 foot boat. Would we like a little bit more storage area inside? Probably. So the next episode will be a 47. Maybe that will be the perfect boat. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. If so, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification button beside it so that you're notified when the next episode is up. There are tons and tons of catamarans in the future. Some of them I'm showing you on the screen right now. Some of note is we really like the Majestic 530, we like the Maverick 400, and we like the Exquisite X5, but there are plenty of other boats we like as well. So hopefully you stay tuned for that. So until next time, this is Craig signing off, wishing you safe cruising.